I decided to go ahead and shoot a video today to show people how I have the 08 radiator installed in my 2003 SVT Focus. Uh, over the last year and a half or so, I've had a lot of people ask me how I did it. Well, I wasn't the one who did the initial installation since my friends did that for me whenever they rebuilt my car after the accident in September 2015. Well, in that time frame, I've done some small modifications to it uh, to enhance it and make things a little more solid. So uh, I figured since my car is apart right now, to put a clutch in, I decided to go ahead and shoot some video so you can see what all has been done so you can do it on your car. So this is the current status of my car. As you can see, it's uh, pretty much pulled apart all the way up front. Um, I thought I'd go ahead and, and give you some shots so you can see what was done to get the 08 radiator fit into it. Um, and another challenging thing was to get the condenser in there as well. First thing that needed to be done is uh, the lower radiator support needed to have these basically uh, cylindrical uh, drop down brackets mounted on there to drop it down lower since the 08 radiator is much taller. Now it's probably hard to tell from here but that uh, radiator goes about as low as the bottom of the cat where it is. So it does not need a lower, but it definitely is a lower radiator. Uh, so this lowered the mount all the way around and probably can't get a good picture over here to the light. But you can see, of course, there's slight surface rust on it. Um, I do not know the exact height of that since I was not the one who did the actual conversion but uh, I'm sure I can get that and put that in the video description later on so once that lower mount was done the radiator could be dropped in now this also included underneath the core support here there had to be some trimming done and I can't pull it apart and show it but you can see my crossover tube is actually tucked up underneath underneath here to get that to fit there with the fans it actually just had to remove the core support, lift it, slide it up underneath to put the core support back down. It's been that way for a year and a half, hasn't budged, no problems at all. Okay, another thing that had to be done is because of the radiator cap here, that core support had to be notched for that to fit, otherwise it won't work at all. So a lot of cutting and grinding to square it up and make it look pretty decent, and that got that to fit. Now. Regardless of what people say, there is an overflow tank. Hose here comes off the overflow tank. It's just not a pressurized one. That hose comes down here, and I have an overflow tank here. That is just a generic overflow tank from O'Reilly's. Yes, it is zip tied in because it's such a tight space underneath there. There's really no other way to get it in there. And you can see a little bit of the remnants of the, the accident from when Sonic got wrecked. But... Um, that is the overflow tank right there, and it does work totally fine. I have not had a, one single cooling issue since this was installed a year and a half ago. Now, another issue is the radiator fans. I don't know if you can see here. Let me get up underneath the car. Since the radiator is larger, the fans don't have the same mounting brackets. So these are literally zip tied to the edge yes I know it seems janky but this stuff is solid it is not moving at all and unless some custom brackets are made this is honestly the easiest way to get it to work and those fans have worked perfectly ever since okay so with the uh, drop down lower radiator mount in there and the underside of the core support now let me get up here. The underside of this core support has to be notched out. When this is removed, you'll see what needs to be notched to get the radiator in there. So that radiator is sitting up in there with that mount. It is not going anywhere. It's solid, totally no issue at all. But the condenser did not have any way to mount at all. It was just totally loose just sitting in there. So I had to custom fab a mount to hold the condenser in place. Now you can see how dirty it is here with tons of bugs after my failed trip to Colorado a while back. So I have insulation on the top here. 
This insulation at the top of the condenser is, of course, pushing up against the un underside of the core support. And the condenser is not moving. It's solid. You see a little bit of movement there, but that's, that's fine. Underneath, what I did is made these brackets here. And you can see I got these bolted to the lower radiator support with a piece of iron coming out or steel coming out and bolts going up and the tube pushing on the two point, uh, points of the end of the condenser. So then I can tighten and lower this to increase or lower the pressure on the condenser pushed up against the top of the core support. This stops the condenser from moving. It's got a little bit of play, which is fine. I mean, usually it does have a little bit of play whenever it's in the car normally. But uh, that has worked great for the last year and a half. It, it seriously does not move. I've had air conditioning working totally fine the entire time. So um, this is kind of a simple thing. I have maybe $10 in parts here from the hardware store and uh, just kind of getting it lined up is a little bit of a challenge. As you can see, this one over here is angled more to the side, while this one right here is angled more straight on. That's one of the reasons why uh, the top of the condenser uh, on the passenger side, it is sticking out a little bit, and on the driver's side, it's put, pulled back a little bit. But none of that can be seen when everything is put into place, but everything does work perfectly fine. Um, the AC lines coming off of it, they are really tight through here going all the way around but uh, with the conversion it can still make those lines work uh, I just put a little bit of a hose around certain areas to make sure they don't rub through and cause any leaks so lower the radiator bottom support put the radiator in uh, trim the underside of the core support be sure you notch right through there so you can have room for the filler cap Put in a uh, overflow tank underneath the headlight. Cannot be seen at all once everything is in there. Uh, mount your condenser in there uh, with the custom brackets like you saw. The, the fans get uh, mounted to the back side of the radiator and they are not going anywhere. And uh, that's all it takes to pull off the swap to the 08 radiator in a Mark I Focus. And that's what it looks like once you get the coolant take all gone. Yes, it's a lot of work. It's up to you guys if you think it's worth it, but now you know how to do it.